Okay, revised part two. I've got my steering bar sitting in there now, so you can see. Put the steering together. I'm actually going to have to shorten this down, but this is on this this piece in here is only plug welded in, so I can take the plug, just grind the end off that, shorten it to what I want, and just weld it back in again. So that's no big deal. But what I've actually decided to do is instead of trying to put a bar from over here somewhere and through and all back up to here you can see there's two bolts here same on the other side I bolted a bar between the two which I can hang the bottom off so plenty of room there I just gotta find a place to hang it from which will give me my my brace at the bottom so and up the top I'm just gonna make a fitting so it sits sort of about there somewhere so it's not too straight up and down, but I don't want it lent right back. Obviously, it's upside down. I don't want them lent right back. I want them more up. Otherwise, it's going to hit my knees when they come down here. So it needs to be almost, not straight up and down, but a little bit more sort of about there somewhere. But um, I've actually been doing a little research, and it's been really hard to find any kind of information on these things um, as far as how they were put together. But what I found was originally they've got um how can i put it well here's your hydrocycle you know etc etc et real basic you have to excuse me i'm drawing on top of an old washing machine um so you know you got your, your steering up here so that would be like you know something like that what they used to have is a plate under here that goes across through here and a grommet up here and a piece of tube that went down through it with a brass end on there and a brass end on there it was a bit of a stainless tube i think i've still got it sitting on the other side there somewhere like that which was just a piece of you know, basic tube through that they had the, the um the on top of that they had the um handlebars up on here so you had your handlebars you know whatever and on the bottom under here, they had a pulley through here. Now some of them I've noticed too, and, and doing a bit of research, actually have a bracket on the floor down here. And that bar goes all the way to the bottom. And has a pulley on here. And it's supported by just in a sleeve down here so that it doesn't move around down there. And then from the top up here, it doesn't move either. But I'm, I'm going up here because I want all this room down here. So I don't want a bar in the middle. So I'm going to shorten it all right up here, but instead of using this plate through here, I've got my bar bolted in through here, and on my my steering, well actually it's probably a bit lower than that, about here somewhere, and my steering is going to go more up like this, with the handlebars off there. So my, my wheel, instead of being under here, is going to be here. Because it doesn't matter what angle you want to put it on, because you've got the two pulleys under the front down there that, that the cable runs around anyway. So all that's got to do is go down around a pulley here and then out to the back. So, and that's all down on, on, on the walls, on the side walls. And if, if I get down close enough, I can, I can actually tuck it under the edge under there. So it's actually, the, it keeps this wall clear. So it's be under the edge. And another good thing too I noticed about that is the way the motor goes with the wire. Look at these, you've got to go up over the side of this to get down to where the pulleys are. So if I, ch if I change my pulleys as low as I can get them at the front, I can make the angle a lot nicer angle to the motor and it won't be sort of having to change too many angles. I can try and keep the cables kind of straight to where they've got to go. So hopefully it will work. But yeah, I'll keep you posted because like, as you can see the steering there, my wheel will be in under here. And my wires would run down down through there down right down into the bottom down, down under here with a pulley and then from there they go back and up to the motor because mine ah, mine's got a bulkhead in there in the back under here and my wires come out through a bulkhead you see 